you mentioned this is a full circle moment to be a guest on the podcast. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah. Uh, so I think it was, if, if, if my memory serves, it was sometime in March where, and I, I remember I woke up and of course didn't feel good because I'd been drinking the night before. And um, I was, I should mention too, I, I don't know how many folks this applies to, but I was being dishonest about it. I was, I was hiding drinking because I was trying to pretend like I was living one way. I was actually living another way. And so that was a whole other layer of, you know, disgust and shame with myself, not being truthful with, uh, with my wife in particular. So anyway, I'm, I'm laying there in bed on a Saturday or Sunday morning with all these feelings. And I just thought, okay, I gotta, I, I gotta find some kind of support group. I gotta find, I gotta start filling my head with, with the good knowledge and the good messages again. And I opened up the podcast app on my phone and I just typed in alcohol free. And, you know, those are the first two words of the podcast. And so it was the first one that came up. Um, I hadn't heard of it before, but there was, I had heard James's name and it, it may have been because I'm a big sports fan and he was, you know, sports center anchor, but somewhere I had seen, it, it seemed familiar. I was like, oh, the, you know, I'm aware of this guy. And so um, listen to a few episodes that, you know, I just scrolled through and looked at the subjects of the, the episodes. Um, and it really, it, it really landed with me because of the way that, that James and the whole program approaches this lifestyle of it's, it's an additive thing. It's not a subtraction thing. It's a confident way to live. There's no stigma around what was going on. There's no, you know, I, I'm defective and this thing has control over me. Um, it was just a very empowering, uh, new approach to, um, to dealing with it. So, so I saved the, I saved the podcast and I would listen to a few here and there. I didn't make the decision right away, but everything came to a head. Uh, I think it was in late, mid to late April, you know, made, made what in hindsight were some stupid decisions, but at the time seemed like the only decisions I could make because I was not operating at full capacity. And it really came down to the point where I, I can't believe this, but my marriage is in trouble. My wife doesn't trust me. What do I have to lose here? Um, I've got to do something different. And I, and I need to do something to show her that I'm not just trying the same old things again. And that's when I went on the website and took the questionnaire and signed up for an intro call. And uh, my wife and I both were actually on the call with Adam when we talked about really getting in the program and just took the leap that day with, with her and his encouragement and, you know, really haven't looked back. That really shows your true ca character. Alcohol takes us out of integrity. Yeah. Well, and it was, there was a lot of shame around it too, which I don't feel now, but, but then I did because I was so confident and I got this and, you know, I can do it and I'm, I'm stronger than this thing. And now I realized that that was the wrong way to look at it altogether. Um, but yeah, I felt really defeated. Uh, and really down with all of it for a while there. Not not truly understanding the science and and how how the wiring is there. It's we don't change our pathways. We build new pathways. And so you being alcohol free was great. Your life got better, but were you really building? a life of your design, a life that you really, really felt like you were filling your cup. And uh, so, yeah, it makes sense. And then, and then you find yourself on that slippery slope after feeling like this was a, a team effort. And then, uh Oh, here I am. I, you know, I, I remember conversations I had had with her and, and with others just saying, Hey, I realize where it had gotten to before and look at all I've gained in these three years, you know, career wise, health wise, um, just goal wise, and no way I'm going to let that happen again. And so when it did, it was just like, I couldn't process it. You know, it was, it was very difficult. 